Now this next exercise and demonstration is going to be a really simple one. We're talking about entering data. In the previous lecture, we saw building the foundation of our spreadsheet, just entering some simple headers into this Excel worksheet. Now inside of Excel, there are many different types of data that you can enter into an Excel worksheet. What we have right now is a bunch of text values, alpha characters, just words. What we're going to take a look at next is entering some numeric data. And this is going to be quick and simple. I'm going to make up some values that are going to, going to represent my monthly spend for these different bills. So for example, I'll click in the cell B5. This is the January amount for rent. And I'm going to say for my rent, we got $1,200. And I'm going to hit my enter key, drop me down a line. So for phone, we got uh, 50 bucks. For credit cards, we got 100 bucks. For food, more food the better, I'm gonna say 300 bucks. And for gas, I'm gonna say 50 bucks. Now, again, I'm just making up some numeric values here, but I'm entering another form of data into an Excel document. And every time I type something in there, I'm hitting my Enter key again, just to drop me down to the next line. Now, I wanna call out a quick difference between the text values that we did earlier, like the bills and the months, and the numeric data that I just entered in here. Take a moment, look at the screen. Visually, what's the difference between those text values, those headers, like my row headers, my bills, and the numeric data that I just entered there? What do you see that's different? Something really small. You may overlook it. I know one's text and one's numeric. Yeah, I got that. What else is different? How about the formatting, the alignment? Text, text like my headers, my bills, are all left aligned. My numeric values, they're all right aligned. It's something small, but it makes a difference visually within your document. Now one of the reasons why Microsoft does this within their Excel documents deals with how clean the data looks. Imagine that you have decimal places here. $1,200.25, $50.10, $100.75. Well because the data is right aligned, those decimals will be nice and clean, nice and even up and down. If the values were left aligned, because we have an inconsistent amount of digits on the left-hand side of the decimal, the decimals would be all over the place. It'd be like doing the wave, right? It just wouldn't look as clean. So by default, Excel formats numeric data right aligned, whereas it does text left aligned. Something small, but visually we can tell the difference between the two, and you can tell the difference between those two different sets of data. Now we're gonna see something very similar when we talk about dates because dates inside of Excel really are numeric data. So try this out, finish it off, drop in some values for February and March as well. 